Hi everybody, this is Zombie, and welcome to another one of my Dungeon Boss videos. Many of you guys out there have some great ideas and suggestions for content, but I just don't get the time that I need to create it. So I've opened up the doors to my channel and invite you, my subscribers and supporters, to create your own videos which I'll host here. So if you have something that you wish to share with the community, get in touch with me via the LINE app. Add me using Zombie.33 and let's discuss how we can make it happen. Anyway, that's enough from me, on to the video. Today we are doing another Dungeon Boss video, and this is a collab video with Zombie, and for this video, I'm going to be doing Shadow Reflections Normal Mode. For, for the team that I picked is, you guessed it, the Undead team. So, I picked this team because it goes really good with, like, healing-wise, and, um, and because they, because if you get, if you have good enough runes on them, you, you will do a lot of damage with this team. So my team will... If you don't know the undead team, it's, it consists of Yorick, Hansuk, Brom, and Zom. And, um, so... Um, the first person, like, I have epics on them, and the first person you should... The first epic you should probably level up is, um, Yorick. Because we need that chance to, we need to keep up that chance to heal all the characters. Hansuka should be next, but since I only, only have him at um, level two, don't level up Brom so fast. That was my mistake. Level up Hansuk first, so you can, so you can get defense up. But the reason why I got um, Brom up is because I got um, his attack up more. Or no, because I ha I had his epic first, and I've only had this epic for like I don't know, like a couple weeks or so. I I, so I haven't had that long. My um, so sadly my Hansuk is only three star, my Zom's only five star, my Yorick is six star, which is awesome, and my Brom is. Four star, but he's like at like 40 tokens away from um, five, that five star level. <clears throat> so, yes, you need to use this epic to help you get through this. So, um, to the undead team, these guys aren't that powerful. Um, I, it can. Like, they can wipe out anything, but they may need, like... But you will have to use energy potions. Um, energy potions and, like, a, a lot of... You have to use potions, of course. But this is, like, kind of a way to, um... So, yeah, you gotta keep your orcs epic up so you can... See, that, he that healed a lot of damage. So he's doing his epic again. Get our defense up. These guys will give out chilling skin, so better be careful for that. And you may want to use um, that exposed weakness to get rid of taunts. If you keep that defense up a lot, um, he, they won't. The guys won't do that much of damage. Um, just for a heads up, um, be sure for um, Hansuk to not die during the boss battle because um, Kang Kung can um, deal some dam like like 1.5 times hit the damage of the. Uh, to nature heroes and um and I don't like that. So like last time I did this he died like for the test video. And um yeah I was a I didn't like that. And also you like here's another one. You have to keep you have to get these guys fully ascended if you want to do this. Because if you have like Brom, or no, not Brom, um, 
you only have Zom like at his first ascension. You will you will live to die another day. It's gorgeous. Alright. I'm not gonna talk that much now since uh we're just I'll talk more when we get to the boss battle. Alright. So we're on to the boss battle. Usually I I wish the little pig dude, like this guy, I wish he was the boss. But nope. We get this big dude. See? It, we're gonna look at his stats before we do anything. So his stats are he is invulnerable, which he means he's immune to pretty much everything. And I don't know why we get this stuff. Frostbite immune, immune to frostbite. Charm immune, never succumbs to charming. He is a nature hunter. Um, turn to a blind eye. He's immune to talk, taunt, and provoke. He has wushu. He's immune to crits. Perfect swing, never misses. He's fear immune. Day's immune. Fire vulnerability. So he takes extra damage from fire attacks. If you can get a fire hero to survive this, then I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be pretty impressed. Um, silence immune cannot be silenced. Exhaust immune, so he can't. Like, so no, so he, so he's technically energy protected. Kind of. And he's freeze immune, so he cannot be frozen. I don't know what the deal is. Like, this is really funny. The snowball and the icicle, they're both charm immune, frostbite immune, daze immune, and fear immune. Like, it's like... like these are the real bosses right here. The snowball and the icicle. There's a real problem here. You should use Vigilance, even though he's gonna die at some point. Um, he will, he will resurrect it because, but you have to have him fully ascended. For his, uh, <clears throat> where is it? Undying loyalty. If killed when defending others, he will reincarnate on the next turn with attack and defense. And, um, yeah. He's, he's not immune to this, though. Actually, exhaustion. I meant to, I meant, I meant to tell you this. Exhaustion is when, like, when someone scores a crit, like, um, like, he does this. Zerk does this. So, when you crit on some, when Zerk crits on someone, he, um, he lowers their energy by one. So he is immune to exhaustion. You gotta use that drug scythe, like, like, constantly, and that, and septic claw, like, so pretty much all of your, uh, special abilities. Man, I could've used that on, um, King Kong. See, this is, w this is what sucks about it, like, you want it, you're using your attack on, um, these guys, but then... Like, you score an epic attack, and, and like, you could have used that on King Kong. And this is the real one here, like. This is the part where I like how it's real fun. Going at it with these epic attacks, man. All right, I'm gonna start with this boss. Just dread scythe him. And. Yep, we killed him. So, this is the Kang. This is the Kang Kung boss mode. Now, let's move on to runes. Alright, 
So, runes on these guys. So, first we're going to go up with Yorick. His runes were um, a greater power rune. Um, we got a greater life rune on him to keep his health up. A greater focus rune. A power rune. And um, this precision rune because he gets burning skin. And that's pretty cool. So, you know, his defense is pretty crappy right now. But his health is amazing. Crit chance is pretty good. Uh, skill is not like... It's pretty average. Uh, 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 a good dodge chance, just like a bit, a tiny one. And um, this is a tiny bit of damage. Level ten, epic. Now moving on to Brom. Okay, so Brom is so close to that five star level. So he has some pretty nice rooms on. Uh, improve, um, we got a couple attack runes, uh, a greater power rune. The reason why I put a bunch of power runes on him is because I want him to, like, like, make, make that damage, like, destroy. And we got a greater life rune on him just to keep him, keep him living. And, um, his rune power is pretty nice. Um, attack is amazing, uh. Defense, eh, I can live with it. Skill is pretty bad right now. Uh, health is, meh. It's not the best, but it's pretty good. Uh, crit chance, pretty average. A big, a, a good dose of damage and a bit of damage reduction. I can try to keep, um, Mr. MK to, to not slay us all the time. Alright, so, on Sook. I got some pretty good runes on him, actually. Uh, got a greater life rune on him. Uh, got a greater battle rune on him. I may strip that off of him. Just to make... Just to be honest with you. I probably will strip this off of him and put on Koros. Koros. Or whatever, however you pronounce it. Um, greater life, uh, greater focus, and a greater power just to keep his... To keep his health and attack up. So attack isn't like the best. It's pretty good. Health is pretty good. Crit chance is pretty average. I don't know why there's dodge chance. A tiny bit of a damage reduction. Uh, there's no added defense on him. Epic's level two. I forgot to show you the epic level for Brom. It was level ten, I think. Yeah. And um, hold up. There's Zom. Zom has. Pretty pretty nice runes on him. Got improved power, greater battle, um, greater destruction. Amazing. Well, not amazing, but it's pretty good. A greater tactics rune. I have no clue why I put this on him, but I guess it's pretty cool on him, I guess. And improved bulwark. Now, these were the runes for my uh, undead team. I hope you enjoyed this video, and make sure to subscribe to me and Zombie. Now, goodbye. That's all for now, guys. Please do leave comments, questions, or suggestions in the comments section below. I'll always try to answer. Remember to check out the rest of my YouTube channel for more Dungeon Boss videos, or search Zombie Dungeon Boss in Google or YouTube for more. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.